What's up, Virgo? This is Soul here. Virgo, we're going to look at your week ahead starting uh, July ooh, July 24th, ending July 30th, 2023. Virgo, I hope all is well. This week, I'm using one of Karen Black's um, tarot uh, decks, but I can't recall the name. I just mentioned in Leo's uh, video. If anyone uh, knows these cards or the name of the cards, just chime in and let me know. Um, I usually am pretty good at... Uh, remembering the names of the decks but i don't use this one this often so anyway we're going to look at some energies here for you just doing a, a nice shuffle for you getting the energy stared up and seeing what's potentially coming for you i'm not bothering to cut and just going to go straight into the energies and doing your reading all right energy for virgo what's going on for virgo this week All right, so Virgo, we're going to start with the first card, and we have the Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords is uh, the card of worry, fears, anxiety, possibly sleepless nights. Also, it could be the energy related to things that we're mentally thinking about that hasn't even occurred yet. So, if you're, you know, playing a movie inside your head about a situation that you're, you know, nervous, worried, or anxious about, and it hasn't occurred yet, just make sure that, you know, uh, if it does occur, hopefully it does not that you deal with it as quickly as possible. Normally with the Eight of Swords, I get a break in communication, so that could be uh, something else that's going on here. You're not blindfolded, you're not trapped. You can see your way out of a situation. And like I said before, if there is something that is uh, definitely affecting you or impacting you this week, try to resolve those energies as quickly as you can. You don't want that energy to linger around, Virgo, because it leads up to the Nine of Swords energy, and you definitely don't want that. Up next now is the uh, Three of Pentacles. So this is the um, collaboration card. You may be introduced to somebody new. Of course, it could be a small pay raise for some of you coming through uh, in the form of your work. Also, um, always get workplace attraction. The Three of Pentacles is always an achievement of some sort of goal. Maybe you worked on a goal with some uh, other in collaboration. Could have worked on a goal by yourself, but now's the time for some sort of acknowledgement for you uh, when the Three of Pentacles shows up. So it could be in the form of a small, um, you know, pay raise or money coming. It could be a congratulations, a thank you, you know, a job well done, a pat on the back. Following the Three of Pentacles, now we have the Seven of Cups. All right, so the Seven of Cups here is about options. It's about someone going deeper in terms of their feelings or their emotions towards you, or you might be doing that to them. Keep in mind that the uh, card of, um, you know, the Seven of Cups is about those options. So use your intuition, you know, because this is part of intuition too, to make sure that if there are options that are presented to you uh, this week, Virgo, that you are choosing what is best for you. All right. And then new relationships also could be formed here, not just, you know, a deeper aspect of uh, emotional love or, you know, caring for one another. Um, platonic and romantic relationships can be formed with the Seven of Cups. Up next now we have the Temperance card. OK, Major Arcana. Temperance card here is about balance, balance being restored, restoration of some sort of peace, liberty, mother nature. OK, spending quality time outdoors, enjoying mother nature and God's beauty. Uh, but whatever that may have been thrown off balance or out of balance for you now comes back into uh, balance this week. OK, that's the assurance of the temperance card up next. And also to the temperance card is the um, is a relationship card as well. Now we draw the five of uh, pentacles here. So this is the card that always, you know, fosters um, a need to worry about your income, your finances coming up short to pay your bills, cold shoulder treatment. This is my ghosting card. So you could be ghosting someone. Someone could be ghosting you. It does mirror the eight of swords. So someone could be, you know, um, anxious or worried about their financial situation. Uh, but just note that if you are, this is temporary. There is a positive aspect that comes out of the Five of Pentacles, and you can still be the Virgo that dedicates your money and your time to worthy charitable causes. Also, to the um, someone could be ignoring you, or you could be ignoring them. I always get a stubborn type of energy. So, you know, someone's um, possibly, you know, stubborn around you, or someone in your circle is acting stubborn, or it could be you who's acting stubborn towards others. 
Up next now, we have the Four of Swords. This is rest, relaxation, rejuvenation. It is taking care of yourself, detaching your energies from those commitments that you have, such as work, such as family, such as, um, you know, romantic relationships, friendships. Not a permanent situation, just leaving the situation alone for a minute. It could be just you taking a day off from work, recapturing your um, independence, catching up on your rest, and because um, this is regarded as my codependency card. You know, we become attached to our family, our jobs, our friendships, relationships of all kinds and stuff. And then it's kind of hard to um, lead that energy and people, you know, without people feeling a fear of losing the attachment that they have come, you know, a part of. So, but it's important for us to uh, remember that we came here on this plane alone. We're going to leave alone. Okay. So we cannot make other people and other things, material things, the source in the form of our happiness. We have to read, we have to create that energy on our own. Okay. And if you can do that, you're very successful. Then you may be planning future trips. Now, if we get any of the movement cards here, then the trips are going to be executed this week. Up next is the Two of Swords. So you have to narrow your choices down to one here, uh, Virgo. This is still my same-sex loving energy. Um, feeling like you're at a crossroads. Um, it could be also viewed as the reduction of the Eight of Swords, you know, that you worked on that energy. If there is some Eight of Swords energies that, you know, uh, impacts you on a, um, you know, a real level here. So this could be seen as the reduction of having you having to deal with um, ridding yourself of any, you know, anxiety or uh, nervousness or worry or concerns over a situation, person or event. Um, you could be out and about and, you know, driving to work or just driving in general. And then there's some sort of detour that comes through and then you your path has alternated. It's just a small energy of a decision. So you have to narrow your decision down to one, okay? This is um, regarded as the energy that there could be two people involved here that you uh, may be interested in when it comes to those romantic relationships. Two people may be involved or, you know, liking you. Up next now, we have the King of Cups, Father of All Love, sits underneath the Seven of Cups, nurturing, caring, supportive, very intuitive. This is also to a relationship card. So it may be some energy here regarded for some Virgos this week of how you go about feeling uh, on an emotional, uh, you know, scale, emotional satisfaction, emotional fulfillment, definitely emotional, yeah, satisfaction, fulfillment, and contentment. All right. So, uh, again, all kings and queens represent relationships for me. Um, yeah, the king of cups. I like that. All right. So following the king of cups here, now we have the... Now, you know what? This I, I remember this deck now for some reason. I don't know what the contents or the expression is for the happy squirrel, but it's here for your reading. I'm going to use that as a side. Maybe I'm just put that to the side. I don't know what the happy squirrel means. If anybody could chime in and let me know what the happy squirrel means, um, I'd appreciate it. But happy squirrel, well, you figure the word happy is in there. Now, whether or not it's involving a squirrel um, can be irrelevant or, you know, relevant. Anyway, following that, we have the lovers here. Okay, so the lovers is replacing the happy squirrel. Lovers is all about, you know, partnerships, right? Un unity, coming together. Uh, existing partnerships. It could be business partnerships, seeing eye to eye with one another, being on the same page. Of course, with one another, it follows the King of Cups, the father of all love, nurturing, caring, supportive. Definitely new relationships um, can be formed, platonic, romantic. I think I said that already, but um, just reiterating here that you should go about it. In spite of the eight of swords that opened you up, you should be going about your week feeling um, any attachments or entanglements that you have with others should be, you know, pretty smooth here. Okay. Cause that's what the guarantee of the lovers means, you know, that things are equal and everybody is mellow and, and, um, you know, like I said, on the same page or seeing eye to eye and there's no, uh, indifferences going on here, loving each other equally. 
whomever they are, family, could be romantic partners, could be friends. Last card I have for you, Virgo, is the Knight of Swords. This Knight of Swords in this deck is facing the future. Okay, so normally the decks that I've used in, uh, in the past, the Knight is always faced in the uh, past direction. But there's something that you're about to do, maybe it's future related, but the Knight of Swords is always about communication, uh, determination, ready to take charge and take action for whatever is necessary. So it could be, um, you know, a decision or an action or both regarding a situation, person or an event. In your shadow, now we have the Nine of Wands, so you're going to be somewhat busy this week, Virgo, doing things for others. It could be work-related matters, just having the energy to, do, you know, to knock out anything that you got going on and or unscheduled going on. You'll have the energy to handle it. Six of Pentacles, more of your energy. This is the card of gift giving. So some of you may be, you know, receiving gifts this week. This is a card that also could be um, seen or viewed as the financial uh, improvement here with the Five of Pentacles that was present. Things balanced out because it's equal number of Pentacles. Um, there could be some sort of apology that comes to you if there was some sort of slight given to you in the past. There's an acceptance of that uh, energy here. If that is the case, could be, you know, definitely someone getting a uh, pay raise. Just like the three of Pentacles. Last card I have for you is the six of wands. This is the movement card. I just said if we get any movement cards here with the four of swords, then... You guys who may be traveling or vacationing is going to execute possibly this week. This card is regarded as victory and success. You can attach that energy to anything that is laid out in your spread or any other energies connected to your to your situation. All right. Traveling. However, say passage to say passage from. All right. So this is what I have for you, uh, Virgo. Not too bad. Just me interpreting the cards. Take what's necessary for you. Leave the rest alone. But I would appreciate you giving this uh, video a thumbs up. Again, I don't know what the happy squirrel means, but it is here for you. And since the word happy is here, it's got to be something significant. But you guys have a safe, great week ahead. Keep smiling for me and I will talk to you soon. Bye.